Hey folks, just at the end of the page they had someone streaming there and well I heard nothing, I'm paranoid, so I just had to have that edited out. Um yar. So yeah, this is a a bit of a crimp in my style. I really thought I was getting three all the way to the end. I'm actually getting two hundred and forty four, wasn't it? In total. This is annoying. I suppose having 200 points to spread around all over these would be pretty, it would be, would be a bit much, but it's just basically it's so hard, you know, it takes so long between getting points, it still doesn't feel like enough, you know? Could do that. Improves my offensive ability, defensive ability, and help regen soul resistance. Sure. I also feel like I really need to get a set that allow, that just boosts stuff, that gives me extra points for free. That'd be nice. Maybe not even one to all, but just like you know, take uh, primal strike for example. Here's an extra tree, tree to savagery. Uh, you know, boost up my minions by a few. You know, take some pressure off there. Boost up, you know, my buffs, Sp spectral binding, and um, Modrigan's uh, pack. Uh, I got ectoplasm. Seven hundred eighty-three. Dark times are ahead. The world is in ruins, and it's up to us to restore the broken pieces. But our power also lies in ruin and re destruction. Dorda wishes to harness this potential. Speak to a smith who knows the ancient ways. Have them create a runation relic for us. Do this for the order, and you shall be rewarded with the vial of Katonic blood of Katon to use as you see fit in your rituals. Don't I have one? No, I have Calamity. Also, actually, I'm going to look one thing up, because I feel like I've missed it. Ooh. Or Burak. Or Burak Grimdorn. Ah. Uh, that's actually the upcoming quest. Uh, never mind. I guess... I might have found that journal fragment a bit early. I was just thinking of looking up about that journal fragment. Oh, they're beating up that. Um, because it was just bugging me that I hadn't, f I didn't know where else to go uh, in, in relation to it. Oh, uh, wasn't there one I got but never read? Zeal. Uh, wage war with reckless abandon. 6 to 12 physical damage. 21% to all uh, dam- uh, Plus 21% to all damage. Yeah, 6 to 12 physical damage. 21% to all damage. 90, uh, t thir 39 offensive ability. 12 defensive. Plus 1% offensive ability. You also can use zeal. Uh, well, a 50% chance on critical hit, hit attack. Push the advantage, unleashing a flurry of attacks upon landing a critical blow. 
Uh, 8 second skill recharge, 2 second duration, 50% increased attack speed, 50% increased crit damage. Not bad. This will be handy to have. It's just like an ongoing aura of just hurt. But it's very much angled towards cold damage. And that, actually, then again, I do do a bit of that. Um, see, here, I do a little. I'm more of a lightning person, though. I might need to actually model my uh, character of someone else's build, I'm thinking, just to get maybe squeeze a bit more out of him. Because as I'm doing it, I'm like, like I'm, I'm fickle. Like I'm like, oh, here I should put points here, I should put points there, and then I'm realizing, oh shit, I don't have enough points. As I think I'm gonna work with, so I might actually be a good idea to do something like that. For now, I'm doing good, but 400, nice. That's a lot more than I was anticipating, but um. For now, I'm doing fine, but that won't always be true. That won't be true. Uh, no Orkoven was spared from Uruboruk's curse, such was his wrath. But that did not stop the Orkovans from trying to evade it. One such group gathered in a temple, hidden away within a flooded cavern near Whitemire. There they prayed to their gods and waited for the curse to expire. The high priest, Roltantis, pre preached sermon after sermon condemning necromancy and praising the Orkovans. To this day, he stands at his ruined altar and spews out the same flawed rhetoric. The Keeper of Tomes wishes to reclaim the temple from the undead in order to tap into its archives, while little remains undamaged by the flooding. For this to be accomplished, Voltantis must be destroyed. His illumination will be amply rewarded with materials from our stores. I've actually already done that. Um, I'm curious, what happens with the Precious Resources quest? I've only ever turned it into the Grim, to the Black Legion, so I'm curious what happens if you do it the other way around. Okay, if you turn it into... Well, actually, it's the same thing either way. You get a bag, you get five scrap, and you get 500 rep with one faction, and negative 250 with the other. I can afford to lose 250 homestead rep. I'll get that back, like that. Kill a boss, two bosses, kill a few heroes... I have a bag. Black Legion is much dif more difficult to actually gain rep with. So it's actually worthwhile doing theirs. Let me make sure everyone's fine. Because I... I just... I don't like any fuck something up. Alright. You have vision. You could hear the game. You can hear me. And I am actually recording. And the recorder is still open. I was scared I nearly closed it or something. <laughs> I was waiting for something to go wrong. So, OBS, you could hear the game, you have footage, the game's still there, I'm recording, you could hear me, all's good. Okay, uh, Astra Kern Valley. There's a reason for this. I'm going to stroll my way up, I'm gonna have a leisurely stroll. And a ra well, a rather enthusiastic walk. Hmm. What oh, beastkin there? I think I doubt Rotantis is back up on his feet. I'll probably have to log out and log back in. But yeah, anyway, what I was just saying was... Sim Actually, you know what? Let's go check. Um, what I was just saying was... I was going to have a leisurely stroll... Up to... Uh, True Ford Icon. There's two halves to it. I was going to have a fight... A proper tur brawl... Through... Um, the first half. And... Um,
you know, kill the Ethereals and whatnot that are in my way. Uh, not the Ethereals, the Comets Chosen. Slaughter them, uh, slaughter them, um, you know, with great, um, Ah, oh, what's it called? Ooh, still some here. Uh, yeah, sort of my way through the common chosen with great prejudice. And, um, oh yeah, I was hoping too much here to respond. Um, but yeah, sort of my way through common chosen with extreme prejudice and try and, um, rack up that bit of extra rep with the order. Might even delve into the, um, gra you know, grave there just to get that extra little bit. Oh, I never read this. Inquisitor Alban uh, was one of the most daring inquisitors of his time, willing to make use of any relics so long as it only served the security of the Empire. Some would call, uh, well, some would later call his methods heresy. Plus one's all skills in Inquisitor increases vitality damage and mental damage by 96 and 92 respectively. Uh, gives 109% extra vitality decay. Uh, well, 109% vitality decay. 54% vitality damage converted to elemental, 329 health, 4.4 energy regen per second, 11% cast speed, 30% skill cooldown reduction, and 2 to drain essence. So he was a necromancer inquisitor. Or, well, you know, at least his item buffs necromancers and inquisitors. Much like that one inquisitor that, uh, that was apparently not inquisitor at all, but was a, um, Outkeeper. Okay, these will give a fair chunk of XP, and they um, give a nice little chunk of rover wrap. So there is value in sorting my way through these. Similarly, there would actually be value in me sorting my way back through the steps of torment. All five fours. Ooh, well, there would also be value in me sorting my way through the Port Valbrand. Hmm. Games of Orion. They have enough for a second one, but these are, um... Chest. Yeah, chest. Meaning I would have to lose ancient armor plating. Ugh. Lose physique, lose... You know what? The chains are worth it. The chains are worth it. Uh, do the undead hate me yet? No, 636 more is needed. They'll hate me that bit more once I've finished this quest. And yeah, these these bits are all like changed each time you load in. Powered Aether Woe? It's one handed mace, Aether Smash. A wave of Aether energies erupts from you. 3 second skill uh, recharge, 3 second skill recharge, 15 meter range, 15% main hand damage, 400 physical damage, 450 Aether damage. And plus 40% damage to Aether's materials and Aether corruptions. That's incredible. Can't carry anymore. That is incredible. One. 
what is this? Uh, Expose reduces armor, but reduces uh, skill uh, cooldown. Wow! Did that miss? Okay, actually knows how to take that on the chin. Well done. Oh yeah, this gets me all rover rap, not rap with the people actually sending me here. Well, <sighs> like, I know what the bounty will give me rap, but I can't people send me here don't actually care about the destruction. Because of course they don't. Part of me feels about taking like the point out of this and using this instead, but while it is more potent, that's very much a single f a target ability rather than the AOE that I prefer. Spell woven treads. No, I just done that. Uh, a reanimated walks the halls of Warden's laboratory with an uncanny connection to the Aether. While most reanimators merely conjure bursts of Aether fire, this one can tear gaps in reality itself, calling down manifestations of the Aether, like that of the uh, most powerful Arcanists. The Order wishes to study this anomaly, travel to Burwich, and slay this Barstrad, the Ascended, uh, so that we may investigate its remains. I don't want to go there. Uh, the heroes have proven to be a curious enemy, their power is con contending with her own. Must not let her, uh, never let her guard down round to call to Catan. Um, their summoners are capable of bringing forth horrific creatures into this world, but their leader, one Kara's the sigil of Catan, brings forth the worst. One of his personal pets, uh, Narl Sarath, has an insatiable appetite for human flesh. Horror stories are told of it, single-handedly devouring every inhabitant of Darkvale, prior to the cult taking the village and the gates beyond. Anyone w uh, willing to take on this monstrosity at Darkville Gate will be amply rewarded with materials from our stores. There we go. Not sure where Nal Sarat is. Never had to fight the beastie before. Figuring the bounties don't spawn in the necessarily same place anyway. Anywhere here within the gate. Even accounting for the damage, just talking about this, uh, that that's befallen this place. Like they've really done a number on it on the, its insides. Not sure why they've got it this place so. 
maybe just make it harder for the people that were trapping inside to flee or do an you know, they'll be lost. Well, the cultists, who are the ones who have just inflicted the havoc, would have an easier time around. They would, act, they would actually have a clue where to go and what. Okay, I already read that. I was thinking as much. But, um... But, yeah. Maybe it's that. But, um... Oh, no. Uh, I know, it just seems like they've really just wrecked the place for no goddamn reason. But anyway. But yeah, Forgotten Gods isn't actually fully done its development yet. There's like some post-launch stuff that's um, still in the pipe. Oh, some dynamite. But yeah, there's some post-launch stuff still in the pipe. So, um... No idea when that will be done. But that'll be done at some stage. And I, I, I don't know if like, apparently a guy will call in a favor. You owe him one in, so, you know, if you've chose, made, made the right choices so far, or the certain choices so far, you owe him, uh, you owe him a favor. But um, what that favor will end up being isn't actually in the game yet. That's part of the update. update. So, yeah, I'm not sure how many of these updates they're going to do and, you know, adding into the game. I'm not sure how much, uh, how many or how much there will be to it, you know? You know it might be worth, worthwhile for me hanging off on, you know, um, doing my second run of this. Part of me had been thinking of basically going straight into a second run of the game. Just wet my whistle a little. Then probably leave it for a time, you know? Just not release the second batch until I was ready to actually do it, you know? Actually, did I even grab that dynamite? But yeah, um, just not re uh, release the second batch until I was actually ready to continue it, but feel free to start it a bit and make some, you know, poke progress there. Um, mm, I don't see any. But anyway, um, but uh, well, what am I saying? Yeah, it might be worthwhile for me holding off on doing my second playthrough of it, just so I can get a you know, be able to do. That, that bit, you know, whatever bits they add in, that bit sooner, you know? Because otherwise I would have to play through the game again and then do the stuff for the first time on Elite, you know? And if they've added in some legitimately difficult content... God damn, that's beautiful. You know, that might be a really poor idea.
Sometimes I wish you could just like go into an area, ring a bell, and have all the enemies try and kill you. Them trying to swarm you is, in a sense, in and not in their best interests. Um, basically, them trying to swarm you means there's the most possible projectiles flying at you. Then there's most people trying to kill you at once. If you have AOE moves, that means there's and you're potent enough, that means there's, you know, plenty of, you know, pinatas trying to mug you. So, you know, swing free. So it's it's a good, in their best interest, to try and do that, fight you like that, and not. Depends on the character. But all the same, I just wish, I just wish you could just, um, hit a gong and just have them all try and mug you. Bosses included, why not? They just all descend on you. Oh. Come on, bro, I made this. Whatever. But there's a little ma a mark there on the wall. It's very out of place. Hmm. I'm sure the chest that was there was better, but uh, not bad. Oh, here it is. Beautiful. We are done. I can't carry it. Okay, I'm actually wearing these boots. Bastion. Hundred and seventy two. You know what? I'm just gonna actually t port up to Fort Icon and just like directly and just continue on with the like the betrayal and the um, precious resources quest. I don't need um To find my way through the rest. Don't have the patience for it. 125 and some microplasm. Entrance sealed by the Black Legion. Why well, is that training dummy bleeding? Must have shoved it full of, you know, like, uh, pig guts or something. Um, do this. Okay, there's Doomsayers in the Blood Grove. I should commanders. Uh, sure. Prepare yourself. The next. What brings you to my forge? Come see what's left of Port Wes. Orion's blood, sacred blood of the war god, increases physical damage, internal trauma damage, physical ability, and speed. It's for weapons. Sword and board.
Okay. If I want to go further, I have to go this way. Or, no, no, I go this way. Whatever, this way will get me down there. But anyway, yeah, I feel like I really need to rebuild this character. I'm just lacking a bit here. Um, like, I need to get points and other stuff here, and I just don't have enough points going around. Hmm. Anyway. The gate has been collapsed, but it looks deliberate. With enough explosives, the way could be reopened, whereas heavy explosives. That's just dynamite. Yeah, killing the materials will get me wrap here. I can't carry anymore. Hmm. Um, keep going this way. Hidden spoils. Oh, they aren't really that hidden. No. 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 I'll go back eventually and tr trade up my butt chest plate for, um, of the component in my chest plate for um, a different tank. Uh, the chains of Orion. Now honored with the death vision. Head back to them. I could grab the quest while I'm here. Harov was right about you. You truly are one with the Order. I think that's new. If the dedication to our cause is commendable, uh, may we meet in may we meet in Gori's battle against the enemies of man. Lead us greatness, brother. They really do like me now. <laughs> Took them fucking long enough. Ooh, is that a new sight? May the chosen of Kaiman fall before your might. Surprised they haven't already. Ooh. You have come far within within the order. Where's where's Kaldaros now? He is recuperating beyond the spiritual veil. He'll return when he when he deems it worthy. Sometimes Calderos disappears for months at a time. Where he goes, I could not tell you. Oh, this is the guy we met back in the Broken Hills. Or, on the other side of the Undercity. And the ghost is... Is Calderos. He's recuperating beyond the spiritual veil. He'll return when he deems it worthy. Sometimes Calderos disappears for months at a time. Where he goes, I could not tell you. Calderos does not obey your commands. Free will, in that respect. And Calderos is no different from you and I. He may be bound to the mortal plane as a spirit, but it does not mean he does so at my beckoning. More powerful necromancers than I had bound him. More powerful necromancers than I had bound him to his immortal form. 
but it's done of his own will. I see. I guess it's a different case when you're bounced as a skeleton rather than a ghost. You have proven yourself to be a valuable ally, and the Order thanks you for your service. Give me a sec. I need to be an even closer ally and have this. My inventory is full. Oh, fuck you. <sighs> okay, I'm here. Uh, no, no. 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 Uh, no, 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 not in here of interest. Oh, damn it, I only wanted one. Okay, good. Christ, I've really gone down in money. Ooh. 